Brakatai Yahawa, Brakatai Yahawa Shai, Brakatai Yahawa, Brakatai Yahawa Shai, Brakatai Yahawa, Brakatai Yahawa Shai. All right, that's Hebrew interpret. Bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, I'm just going to come at you with a quick one. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we're living in some dark times, but some happy times, some blessed times for those that serve the whole for elect. Because we're living in a time where, you know, the elect is going to get to see, you know, the judgment of the wicked, you know. But beforehand, you know, it's dark because it's a lot of wickedness going on in the world. And, um, you know, last week, uh, well, this week just passed. After camp, you know, brothers do their camp and then they, we do our sit down and um, we had like a we had like a council, you know, kind of sort of. But, you know, it's beautiful brothers being on the same page and uh, the brother Shaw made mention of uh, brothers got to pray for one another, you know, and that's true. You know, pray for one another, you know, pray for the apostles, you know, pray for the elders, pray for the brothers, you know, within Great Millstone. You know, brothers that are, you, you see sincerely doing the work. Pray, man. You know, keep continuing to put up those curses as well. You know, so may the Lord, you know, send evil upon the wicked, man. So anyway, this is Galatians chapter 6 and 4. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You know, because, you know, we all have to walk through the straight gate. We all got to sort of walk through this thing alone you know right now we have the brotherhood and we can fellowship you know and that's beautiful but um when things get rough and tough you know just suspect that you might be solo dolo you know you might be alone you know we we understand that no man can actually save us you know we have to have faith in the lord and you got to have some works you know What's faith, what's faith without works? So, you know, let me read this again, but let every man prove his own work. So you got to work. You know, we're not in the time to slack. We're not in the time of uh, quitting, being afraid and trying to fall back. You know, we got to give it all we got. You know, Esau is like a roaring lion. You know, he's going around looking for who he could devour. Okay. You know, he's going hard. So how much more the Lord's men? It says, but let every man prove his own work and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You know, you'd be happy with yourself after doing the works, you know, and especially, you know, if the Lord, when, when the Lord, you know, uh, make known who is elect, you know, you're going to be rejoicing, man, to be partaker of that, you know, that glory that's coming. It says, for every man shall bear his own burden. You know, it's our ups and downs, our merry-go-rounds. You know, every, bro every brother got situation. You know, it says, For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in good things, that teaches in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You know, so if we sow of good things, then we shall reap good things. If we sow of wickedness, then we shall reap wickedness. That's why it's, it's, it's important to be sincere, you know, to be sincere. Let me read that again. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. It says, for he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall the spirit reap life everlasting. And that's what we're supposed to, uh, you know, have in our mind set forth for the soul and spirit, man, not the flesh. Because why? It says the spirit reap life everlasting. You know, we're looking to live forever, man. You know, we're looking to get delivered on this side. You know, you don't want to be punished the way that. The way that way that you're going to witness the, the wicked being punished, man. Okay. You know, the wicked is going to realize 
that there is a God and that there is a righteous power that rules over the earth. Okay? Because of the judgment that's coming. You know? Verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So we shouldn't be weary in well-doing. Well-doing is teaching the word. Well-doing is fellowshipping with the brothers. Well-doing is, um, you know, doing what what delight, what makes the Lord delight in, man. You know? Well-doing is uh, rehearsing the holy days. So it says, And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. You see, why well, it's better to be to do good, to be peaceful, you know? It says, especially who are of the household of faith. You know, for those who believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And teach the correct doctrine. You know. The 100% truth. Ye see how large a letter. I have written unto you. With my own hand. As many as desire to make a fair show. In the flesh. They constrain. They, con they constrain you to be circumcised. Only least. They should suffer persecution. For the cross of Yahweh Shai. Alright. So that's basically the point. Like I said. This was going to be quick. And um. <clears throat> I was reading here with Paul here in Galatians and um, a few thoughts is running through my mind, you know, meditating and um, thinking upon, uh, I was meditating upon Saturday when brothers were speaking, uh, you know, after camp. So, you know, I just want to put this mini message out there. Hopefully, I hope it's edifying to those of the elect, of the hopeful elect. Keep continuing to put those prayers up, man, and those curses. Just know that, you know, we... We are uh, Yasha Allah, man, the prince of the power. You know, there's a reward for the righteous, you know, so there's no need for us to be to be in a front, a fright if, you know, or to be, um, you know, slacking, lacking, you know, hey, hey, right now it's it's time to uh, stand up, man, you know, and start looking up. So, you know, with that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.